Dragonfly, an art journal page for hashtag thankful for art. Here's a list of the techniques that I've used in this page, as well as a list of materials. You can stop the video and check these out. As always, I've gessoed my first my page. Right now I'm cutting out circles using various templates and I'm going to adhere these circles onto the gessoed surface with Mod Podge. One of the things I'm often drawn to in other art journal pages that I see is the use of circles. It just circles and swirls seems to make me happy. So that was one of my goals in this project was to somehow incorporate circles or bubbles. You could have used gel medium to adhere this, but as it's more expensive and I didn't think it mattered, I went with the cheaper variety. So I have a selection of blues and aqua teals that I'm just rubbing on the page with my fingers. I've kind of wet my hands with water just to make it the acrylic paint spread a little bit easier. And I've slipped, you saw me slip a uh, plastic cutting board in between to protect the pages. This color that I'm putting on now is called Prussian Blue, and it is a different brand than the Liquid X Basics. It's a little thicker, so it doesn't go on with the fingers as readily, so I find I have to liquefy it and, and work it a little bit. But I love the color, so it's worth it in the end. You can use any blues or teals that you like to get a background sky. I wanted a, a sky scenery here. So I'm just adding a little bit more highlights with the light aqua. And I'll be going in a little bit later with the um, phthalo green. So I'm going to put a sun up here in the sky, and I just used my um, template for to get the size of the circle, which was kind of pointless later on when you see what I end up using. And I'm just applying white gesso to this. My plan right now was to paint this yellow after afterwards, use some yellow acrylic paint and gold and do that. But I decided that I'm going to use my paint covered um, coffee filters, but I really didn't have one that was the color that I wanted. So I'm making one and I'm just wetting the coffee filter down and applying Artist Loft Metallic Gold and Naples Yellow from Liquitex Basics onto what is going to be my sun. So we're just giving it a dry. I love the texture and everything. So now you can see why tracing out that circle before was, wasn't necessary. I think covering it up with the gesso still was necessary as I didn't want some of the blue to darken the color of the yellow. I wanted it bright and vibrant. Now the composition of this page was inspired by a pin that I found on Pinterest, but the original source is unknown. I love dragonflies and I really like the composition. I use different materials and techniques in the creation of mine, but there's a, I definitely was inspired by somebody else's art. So I applied this with gel medium and I had crinkled it up because I wanted that, that texture. So now I'm bringing some of the yellow into the rest of it and I'm just using the credit card, the edge of the credit card to make kind of hashtag um, looking designs. And that's a technique that I've seen other people use. 
So I showed you I had traced out the dragonfly wings and I, I took me a while to get them the way I wanted them. So I practiced on paper. I'm not brave enough to just draw it on there. So I have the upper wings and the lower wings. And I am using, again, um, some colored coffee paper. This has a metallic sheen to it from some paper, some painting project that I did. I'm not happy with the, using both of the same color. So I'm looking through my jelly prints and I'm thinking, okay, can I get something else here that's going to go together? And I do find a jelly print that I did recently that I love the colors of. And then I'm kind of playing with it. I'm thinking, oh, I can use both of these. I like how this looks. So what you see right now is what I'm going to be using. So I'm using my Neo Color 2 white to just draw the body of the dragonfly. And drawing circles like that, I actually got from Nika in Wonderland. She did a, a dragonfly video, and that's how she drew the body. And I thought, hey, I can do that. So thank you, Nika. And I'm just applying black acrylic paint. The good part of using the Neo Color or a watercolor pencil is it absorbs once you've add the, added the paint and it disappears. So looking at my background, I'm thinking it's a little bit dark for what I want. So I'm just using white acrylic paint and doing kind of a white wash technique just to lighten it a bit. Still playing with the wings, but inev inevitably I go back to my initial plan. This is a very happy, cheerful page with the bright yellow sun. I guess it could be a moon. I don't know. I guess that's up to everybody that looks at it. What do you see? So I'm adhering the jelly print to the coffee filter, the pink coffee filter and vice versa with gel medium and then applying gel medium to adhere it to the page. Just using my Neo Color 2 black just to darken it a little bit more. Now I'm shading the outside and since I had my Neo Colors out, I'm using that. You could use a gelato, you could use a watercolor pencil, a black stabilo, all pencil. Um, the possibilities are endless. You can just use a gel pen and then um, wet it and it will spread a little bit and outline it as well. So I want to add some more circles. You, can, you can't really pick it up on the video, the circles that I um, collaged on earlier, but I will be bringing that out. So I'm just adding some more circles and I'm painting them with, it's an Artist Loft metallic blue, cobalt blue metallic paint. And it's very tealy. So, um, and it made a nice sheen. And again, the Neo Color 2 that I use, the white kind of disappears with the paint. So it's a good way of outlining things where, and if you make a mistake, you can get rid of it. So again, that's the joy of working on um, a surface that is um, acrylic. Once it's dried, it's done. So now I'm going to use some of my collection of uh, circles and just dip them in the acrylic paint and dab them onto the page in a variety. So I've, I'm using the dark um, Prussian blue and some of the iridescent medium from Artist Loft. I had the dark deoxazine purple, but I didn't like how it looked. I, it um, didn't look like it belonged, so I just wiped that off. So using the Neo Color 2, and I'm just rubbing it with my finger instead of activating it with water and I'm liking the effect. So here I'm going around the collage circles just to make them pop, another layer um, and texture element to the page. And I'm going around the metallic blue um, bubbles that I've made as well, just to give them a little bit of shading and help them pop 
I'm really liking the little bit of sheen that the metallic paint has given. And if you know me, you know me, I gotta have that shimmer in there. So I'm just doing some light sketching with my Micron Black, I think it's zip point zero eight. Just outlining it a little bit more. I find the shade needs the shading and that. I'm just putting the little bit of sketching in there. As I'm doing now here, I have printed off on deli paper, and I have a video that you can watch. Um, I'll put the link below on how to print on deli paper or on tracing paper. And the quote says, what if you woke up today with only the things you thank God for yesterday? And this is a quote that when I saw it really meant a lot to me. And I don't go to sleep at night without rethinking about this. And that this is something I take very seriously in my life. So I'm adding a little bit of the pinkish color into where the hashtags were with the yellow just to make the pink a little bit more present on the page. There's the pink of the butterfly and that was to tie it in. It was kind of messy. I wish I was a little more precise. I think maybe I should have thinned my acrylic paint a little bit. I'm going to have to try that again. So I'm using white acrylic paint and I'm just using the stylus to dot it on in various places just to add a little bit of interest and highlight. Now I'm kind of the butter the dragonfly pattern and I start and I don't like how it looks so I can erase it and start over and I liked it much more the next time. Just a little bit of whimsy. I'm trying to use my um, white gel pen to go around the uh, dragonfly's body and it's just simply not working. So I'm adding a little bit of highlights with a liner brush and liquid watered down uh, white paint. I decide that I'm going to put some of the metallic cobalt blue circles on the sun or a moon, whatever you see, just to bring that color in there. I'm not sure if that was necessary or not. What do you think? Using my Neo Color to black, just edging on the around the outside, just making it kind of framing the pic the page. And again, you can use your black gelato, Stabilo all pencil, watercolor pencil. Using my liner bottle and thinned acrylic paint, I'm just going around the butterfly just to make it pop a little bit more. And I'm applying some diamond stickles, just I'm outlining the circular part of the dragonfly body. And it really, you can't see it so much on the video, but it really, when it's on the page, it really does add a nice detail to it. So there's a close up of some of them. You can see the shimmer that I have in the, in the sun or moon um, and some of the textures that are there. I really enjoyed doing this page. It, I am thankful for my art and for my creative times. It really has given my life a sense of balance. Um, and I really love sharing with you, my viewers. So thanks again for watching. I love to read your comments. Bye.